OTS, or the Organization for Tropical Studies, is a large consortium of universities. It is comprised of over 50 different institutions. This consortium of universities is perhaps one of the best ideas that uh, a group of people came up with to promote research in the tropics, study biodiversity, and learn what we have, perhaps some of what we've lost, and what we could potentially do to maintain or understand the changes that are happening in the environment as, uh, as human populations grow and as those populations impact the natural surroundings that, that we have. So one of the main focuses uh, that we work on here, and that is to be that key between science and nature and how that converges um, when research is done, when courses are being run. To facilitate that research, uh, we have three stations that are in dry forest, tropical lowland forest, and also in pre-montane forest. We get the students out into our stations and other field sites that we visit throughout courses. They do faculty, you know, they participate in faculty-led projects, they participate in independent projects, and those two are the key features that with the variety of faculty that we bring into the courses gives the student a greater opportunity to participate in the scientific community. Well, this is sort of an outgrowth of my research interest in comparative law and comparative and international environmental law. And part of the idea is to use the experiential learning model, which is the one that I um, teach from, and employ that in a cross-cultural and interdisciplinary context. It's, it's a great opportunity to learn um, and to participate um, within a culture, uh, both a legal culture um, and, a, and a social culture that's different from anything they've experienced. Uh, um, there's a lot of activity involved. It's physically um, demanding at some level, although um, not necessary for every student to have the same level of physical fitness, but there is a lot of um, moving around involved, um, which I think contributes both to the understanding of the issues that we are experiencing um, through the classroom and also uh, understanding the, uh, the culture and the, um, the environmental context. So um, what's interesting about this is I think it takes a while for what, what they experienced here, what students experienced here and the intensity of it um, to settle in, to seep in, and they have to process things. So it may be uh, a while before they forget the small um, inconveniences that are associated with being down here, um, the food differences, the getting sick and getting better, the falling in love and falling out of love, all those sorts of things um, they tend to forget about and then the whole experience sort of um, comes to the, the forefront and they realize that it was something interesting and profound. The history of OTS and uh, the history of conservation policy in Costa Rica are uh, binded together, they've grown together. I think that the students take advantage of the, 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 the ground development, the research stations that uh, OTS has and, uh, and it's very convenient for a course on policy, on environmental policy to uh, have the stations located in different corners of the country. I think that uh, what it, we need to do uh, is to take um, what OTS has done in ecology and, and, and you know, core biology courses and take that uh, to more policy-oriented fields like uh, conservation and sustainable development. Costa Rica has 5% of the diversity 
de la biodiversidad global en un territorio que es como 0.1%, entonces la concentración de riqueza natural que hay es enorme. I really like the blend of OTS with UF because I think it really deepens the understanding of those who want the environment to be preserved. And especially in the United States, I know that there's some contest between what sustainability means and why sustainability is important and if environmental issues should be something that is invested in. And countries like Costa Rica are a great model for the more green movement and the more left thinking and forward thinking parties in the United States and hopefully will follow. So Coming together with different countries in order to find the best practices for either conservation or preservation is one of the one of the roadblocks that we're facing in the environmental community. And so organizations like OTS and um, programs such as the UF uh, Costa Rica trip with OTS is kind of paramount in breaking down those barriers between countries that may think that they're doing the best for their area um, and not apply it elsewhere or countries that actually aren't doing the best. I think it's very important for students who are learning about environmental law and sustainable development to actually go into the environments that they're planning to protect or conserve. Um, it's one thing to read about it in a textbook, it's another thing to walk out in the field and see how these practices are taking place. Uh, I think that our world is interconnected not just in terms of ecosystems but also in terms of like global connectivity and social media. Um, so I think that if we're going to have any kind of meaningful solutions to a lot of the problems we face, we have to have the platforms for that kind of exchange. And this is one of those platforms. Que el pulmón del mundo está en la naturaleza. Uno no puede no puede desarrollarse mejor si no tiene una naturaleza saludable. Nature for me, it's the piece of grass in a city sidewalk. It's the bird in the sky when you're stuck in traffic. It's um, climbing to the top of the cloud forest. You get here, I mean, you make new friends, you meet new people, you get networking opportunities, um, you get to see different like courts and how they function on an international level. So study abroad, you know, even for something like the legal field is a really like rewarding experience. It's definitely a green country and um, I'd say they're, they've been pretty successful in protecting the lands. Uh, I actually always like if you combine studying together with some, uh, some field, uh, field work. I'm learning a lot about nature. I'm learning a lot about conservation. I'm learning a lot about sustainable development. I'm learning a lot about myself, what I can and can't do, how resilient I am. I think I was one of those people when I came. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I didn't know much about environmentalism or conservation or sustainable development outside of what is available on the Discovery Channel. But being here and actually seeing these forests and all the biodiversity and all the life that, that's here that you never see, like monkeys and birds and lizards and frogs. And I would say Costa Rica is a nature-wise and also human-wise, it's a lovely country. I love Costa Rica, it's very green. Green's one of my favorite colors. It's a bastante intensa. A gente tem muitas atividades, mas é uma experiência muito bacana, porque além de a gente uh, estudar um pouquinho da legislação da Costa Rica e entender como o país se, se tornou uma referência em conservação ambiental. I thought this program is pretty nice. I enjoyed all the field aspects of it, going out into the rainforest and um, going on the hikes and being places that I've never been before and getting to experience new things. Being on the move a lot, but it's also been nice to have that kind of challenge and I've made a lot of good friends and through them it's kind of been like we all just relied on each other and struggled together, so it was good. I think it's a beautiful country. Everyone's been incredibly um, inviting. I don't speak Spanish, but everyone, you know, they try and understand what I'm saying. It's just been really inspiring and motivating for me personally. It's also been a good, a good test in tolerance and patience, which I think is something um, everyone needs to learn. It's definitely worth it. It's uh, not really easy. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of challenges, a lot of uh, outdoorsmanship required. Se puede esperar muchas sonrisas. Se puede esperar ver 
demasiadas tonalidades de verdes, el canto de las aves, muchísimas cosas que podemos ofrecer en este país. Entonces, eh, para mí ha sido un intercambio eh, intercontinental. Um, is, um, is what makes this program, I think, unique uh, and also makes it very intense. Challenging, rewarding, and impactful. I would say either patience or tolerance. Intensive and inspiring. Entendimiento. Adventurous. Hot. Uh, green. Beaches. Intenso. <laughs> it's been practical. Fun. And sweaty. Entretenido. Emocionante. Desmotivación. Sustainable development law. Y creo que es una gran aventura. <laughs>